With 2023 already off and running, I'd like to reflect a bit on the progress we made in 2022 and will move forward in 2023. Since AUI's inception, we have been focused on access. Open access to world-renowned scientific facilities, open access to published instrument data, and most importantly, equitable access to professional and academic opportunities. And philanthropies and industrial partners can be a great resource for broadening our impact. In 2022, we received support from the Heising Simons Foundation and the Burroughs Welcome Fund for a few exciting education programs, as well as support from Utah Iron for our energy program's effort in critical minerals that we've organized as the Center for Greening the Supply Chain. We look forward to expanding our advancement efforts. So if you have connections to people in foundations or R&D roles in private corporations in your network, that you think can help advance our mission, please reach out to me as I'd welcome the chance to discuss the potential opportunities with you. In astronomy, Tony Beasley and his team continue to run the world's best radio astronomy observatories for NSF. We produced hundreds of publications and helped produce some amazing images and discoveries to expand our understanding of the universe. We continue to make progress on projects aimed at pushing the frontiers of science, including the NGVLA, and the new learning center to increase our sensitivity to explore the universe by a factor of 10. A high power radar system on the GBT to enable more planetary science and enable planetary defense and space domain awareness missions. Critical work in hardware and software for the observatories and their users, such as a new digital architecture for the VLBA, NG CASA, and a new generation ALMA correlator. And vital maintenance work such as the track work for the GBT. We are a team and everyone plays a role in making the great science discoveries happen, now and for decades to come. We are so proud to manage these facilities for NSF on behalf of the American people and very much appreciate the continued support of the federal government, our state and local champions, and the scientific community. In addition, we continue to try and grow programs in other areas. In energy programs, while we wait for updates on the ICTL, the $240 million 10-year contract that was awarded to AUI in 2021, but overturned by the Chile Supreme Court in 2022, we continued to pursue proposals on the science and technology for decarbonizing our domestic supply chain of critical materials. Specifically, AUI submitted a proposal to the NSF Engine Program with academic partners in the Southwest to improve the critical materials supply chain. As with the ICTL, we envision a chance to tie multiple institutions together to move technologies to market, to enhance economic opportunities, to increase workforce development activities, and enable more diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility for clean mining, processing, use, and recycling of materials. We look forward to hearing good results later in the year. Our education and outreach team successfully completed the NSF iData project aimed at making astronomy more accessible to individuals who are blind or visually impaired and has been busy submitting proposals for so far this year for new activities. The Heising Simons Foundation and the IAU graciously supported our efforts to advance initiatives on women and girls in astronomy to encourage consideration of careers in astronomy and cosmovisions of the Pacific to facilitate future collaborations between indigenous and non-indigenous knowledge holders, researchers, and educators. With funding provided by the Burroughs Welcome Fund, we produced a sizzle reel at the Woods Hole Oceanography Institute for the Big Science Documentary Series, aimed at highlighting the important role technicians and support staff play in making big science possible. With the NRAO diversity team, we launched the Supernova website and learning management system. As a result, college students will take courses for credit at their home institutions. High school students will take AP courses, and the general public will participate in community science activities. And international partners will access training and educational resources on a variety of topics, such as physics, astronomy, ham radio, and the Python programming language and we were awarded a contract from the NSF to lead the development of online training in research security for recipients of federal funding. 
This is a multi-agency effort, and AUI is creating an online module that emphasizes the benefits and risks that international collaboration pose to U.S. science and technology innovation. This year was another dynamic year for our board, including the addition of a new astronomy committee. We thank Derek Wilcox for his four years of service as chair, and we welcome Christine Wilson as the new chair and Bill Harris as the vice chair. We also welcome Jay Marks to the AUI Board of Trustees and thanked outgoing members Gilda Barabino, Roscoe Giles, and Karen Oberg for their years of service to AUI. Based on the activities we have pushed thus far in 2023, we expect to have another exciting and successful year. Let's all work together to make future scientific and technological breakthroughs possible. Please reach out if you have questions, comments, or if you'd like to discuss how you can help advance our mission through your talents, network, and passion. Thank you for your hard work. It's vital to making AUI successful. It's recognized and it's very much appreciated. I wish you and your families a happy, healthy, and successful 2023.